Joining us now is former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson. As U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. during the Clinton administration, he met with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Governor, good morning to you. Morning. Chris. Uh, from what we're seeing now, uh, this looks like a, a regime that is on the brink. How strong a hold uh, on power does President Assad currently have? Well, unfortunately, I think he still has a lot of power there. But what is evident is that uh, those streaks of moderation and reasonableness that a lot of people, including myself, saw when we met with him years ago, have vanished. He's repressing his people. He's torturing. He's uh, striking protesters with full force. He's defying the international community. And I think the time has come to turn on the heat on this guy, because this is a very important strategic part of the world that is important to Middle East peace, the future of democracy in the region, uh, the Arab-Israeli situation, uh, the future of Lebanon. So I, I just think we, we need to change tactics a little bit. Thousands of Syrians, like we're seeing here this morning, are fleeing across the border. Is this a problem other countries in the region, like Turkey, need to do, need to step in to kind of help solve this problem? Yes. Um, Turkey, uh, Germany has a lot of interest there. Um, I like what Secretary of State Clinton has said, siding us with the protesters. But I think we have to look at other options. You mentioned other nations. We need to start some economic sanctions uh, on Syria. I think we need to start talking about criminal court proceedings against the Assad family. I think we need to look at freezing some of the assets uh, of the family. We need to also, I believe, uh, go to the United Nations and, and try to get more than just a toothless resolution. Russia and China won't be with us. But this is not a Libya. This is an area that's very important to American interests. And we have to be careful, because another issue, Chris, is do we want a regime there instead of Assad that is worse than Assad, that is more tied to Iran, to Hezbollah, to Hamas? So. You've got to be very careful. I think the administration is being very careful. But now, with these huge, huge refugee outbursts, uh, with the violence, with the continued repression, with the fact that Assad is snubbing his nose at us and the international community, I think we need to turn on the heat and push some new policies. Any specifics that, that, that you're thinking of? I mean, President Obama issued an executive order to freeze U.S.-based assets of President Assad. But short of a, a military intervention, you talk about what other countries can do. What can this country do? Well, I think we can uh, continue some, expand those freezing of assets of the family. I think we can lead an effort like we did against Libya for economic sanctions, persuading countries like Germany and others surrounding uh, Libya. We can go to the International Criminal Court. That always strikes fear in, in the eyes of dictators, as uh, has happened in Sudan and Libya. We can, I believe, also maybe ratchet up the rhetoric uh, a bit to show the protesters that uh, were behind them. Maybe we can help with uh, social media and internet to some of the Syrian protesters, as we've done effectively with Tunisia and Egypt and Libya. You know, there are just a lot of little steps. I think the administration is proceeding rightly so cautiously, but now uh, Assad looks like he's just saying, no matter what, I'm going to stay in power, I'm going to kill my people, I'm going to repress. And, and the international community has to respond. And here's where I think the United States uh, needs to take the lead. Governor Bill Richardson, thank you for joining us this morning. Good to talk with you. Thank you.